Woody O'Brien. Uh, my charitable trust owns a farm in the county, and I'm getting ready to build a house, actually getting to the point where I'm going to have to deal with this impact fee. I, I wish I had bought some dollar bills to hand out to all of you, because the truth is what you really need more than anything else is to buy a clue. Affordable housing, you know, the way that you could make housing more affordable is to get rid of the impact fee. If the state required you to consider affordable housing, what you could tell them is that my oath of office requires me. You put your hand on the Bible and you promised equal treatment under the law. That's what you promised to do. You didn't make an oath to meddle. And that's what this is. It's more meddling in the marketplace in ways that are so insane uh, that, that literally the manipulation is, is, is a cancer, not the answer. The graduated idea is so preposterous to go, we need a new formula to try and guess how many square feet equals how many children. You know, you, you could just go to people like me when we show up to pay the impact fee and say, Mr. O'Brien, how many children do you have and what are their ages? You don't need to come up with a formula. You can make an actual actuarial calculation based on what the real impact will be. But the reason that you won't do that is, and as I've thought about this in the many meetings I've come to about this, I keep saying to myself, are these people dumber than a bag of hammers? Because this whole system of impact fees has got so much fraud in it. It's unbelievable. I, I, I worked on Wall Street for 33 years. I didn't see fraud at Goldman Sachs that was this bad. And the fact is, is I've decided, no, you're not stupid. What you are is criminals, because this is a fraudulent conveyance. It's got nothing to do with schools. It's got nothing to do with taxation. It's just creating another honeypot. And the fact is, you're not just any kind of criminals. You're cowardly criminals, because we keep having these meetings where there's no dialogue with the public. You just make a statement. You won't ask any questions with anyone. It's just a big farce in this bizarre criminal enterprise it is that you have. But I'd like to make a suggestion to you. There's an easy way for you to uphold your oath of office, to stop acting like criminals over this, to get rid of this fraudulent conveyance it is that you have, and to show some guts. And that is, put it on the ballot. Let the citizens of Jefferson County decide if they want to keep this ridiculous, fraudulent, criminal practice, or just get rid of it. Find another more broad-based way to raise the money if you need it, instead of going with these ridiculous, the, the, the Tischler report is fraud. You can't find a police officer or a fireman or a journeyman who goes to houses who will tell you, oh yeah, those big houses have more kids than, than, the, than the little houses. As a matter of fact, the Tischler report has a conflict of interest because they've been involved in impact fee lawsuits. It's wrong for you to even use it. But you don't care because you're willing to support this stupid criminal enterprise no matter what. Have some guts. Uphold your oath of office. If you can't do the right thing and you can't give equal treatment under the law, give the people the chance to either go thumbs up with this stupidity or thumbs down and get rid of it.